Hello everyone. I am Faza Muskan from Shri Venkateshwara College of Engineering, Bengaluru. So in today's video, I'll be discussing about a topic which comes under applied chemistry for CSE stream, which is called display systems. In this video, we'll be learning about liquid crystals, classification of liquid crystals, liquid crystal displays, LCDs, properties and applications of LCDs, organic light emitting diodes, properties and applications of OLEDs, quantum light emitting diodes, properties and applications of QLEDs, light emitting electrochemical cells, and properties and applications of LECs. Liquid crystals. A liquid crystal is a phase between solid and liquid state. Example, collateral benzoate, which is from 145.5 degree to 178.5 degree Celsius. Second is P-azoxyphenetol, which is 137 degree to 167 degree Celsius. Third is P-azoxyanisole, that is 116 to 135 degree Celsius. And the fourth is anisaldezyne, which is 165 degree to 185 degree Celsius. So coming under classification of liquid crystals, we have thermotropic liquid crystals. These are the class of compounds that exhibit liquid crystalline behavior on variation of temperature. Examples are the same as of the liquid crystals. And based on the transitions, thermotrophic uh, liquid crystals again classified into four types, which are pneumatic liquid crystals, chiral, smectic, and discotic. And the second classification under the liquid crystals is lyotrophic liquid crystals. These are the liquid crystals obtained when an appropriate concentration of a material is dissolved in some solvents, for example, soap mixture and phospholipids, etc. Liquid crystal displays, also called as LCDs. A liquid crystal display is a flat panel display or other electronically modulated optical device that uses the light modulating properties of liquid crystals combined with polarizers. Liquid crystals do not emit light directly, but instead use a backlight or reflector to produce more images in color or monochrome. Properties of liquid crystal displays are lightweight and compact. They have high resolution. They are easy to manufacture and they have a low power consumption and has a wide viewing angle. Applications of liquid crystals. Applications of liquid crystal displays are, they are used in consumer electronics like TVs, computer monitors, mobile phones, etc. They are also used in medical equipments like X-ray and patient monitoring systems, etc. Used in automotive industries, example GPS system, electronic displays in car, etc. They are used in gaming display devices. Also used in analytical instruments like calorie meter, pH meter, potentiometer and conductometry, etc. They are used in traffic signals, thermometers. Another type of liquid crystals is organic light emitting diodes, also called as OLEDs. These are the type of display technology that uses thin organic layers to emit light when a current is applied. Organic materials are used in organic light emitting diodes. Properties of OLEDs are 
they are thin and flexible very thin and lightweight have very high efficiency has light contrast ratio they have low power consumption produce more accurate color and fast response time some of the applications of oleds are they are used in consumer electronics like tv computer monitor mobile phone etc they are used in automotive industries example dashboard displays lighting systems electronic displays in car etc they are used in wearable devices like smart watches fitness trackers etc used in medical instruments like surgical lights diagnostic equipments etc another type of liquid crystals is quantum light emitting diodes also called as qleds these are the type of light emitting diode that uses quantum dots to emit light some of the properties of qleds are high color accuracy high brightness they produce more color accurately and a low power consumption long life span and high efficiency and more flexibility applications of qleds they are used in tv screens digital cameras mobile phone etc used in personal gaming equipments they are used to filter light from leds they are used in digital signal displays uh, and also used in electronic displays in car and other vehicles light emitting electrochemical cells these are the type of electrochemical devices that can generate light when a voltage is applied some of the properties of light emitting electrochemical cells are high efficiency thin and flexible having simple structure low voltage operations and white color range applications of light emitting electrochemical cells are they are used in lighting like outdoor and indoor lighting used in displays like flexible and transparent displays used in wearable devices like smart watches fitness trackers etc they are also used in medical devices like light therapy surgical lighting and etc in conclusion the convergence of engineering and chemistry in display systems has revolutionized visual technology through meticulous material design and engineering prowess these systems deliver captivating visuals from oleds rich colors to lcds efficiency this interdisciplinary synergy continues to drive advancements leading to thinner lighter and more energy efficient displays the intricate understanding of chemical properties has enabled the development of novel materials crucial for screen innovation as the display landscape evolves the integration of engineering and chemistry will undoubtedly shape new frontiers such as foldable screens and holographic projections in essence the marriage of engineering and chemistry forms the cornerstone of modern display systems influencing how we interact with information and entertain in a dynamic ever changing world Thank you.